Hello everyone and welcome back to Whiskey Wednesday. Today we are talking about this, one of the most hotly anticipated whiskies of 2022, the Glen Scotia Campbelltown Festival release. Eight year old, heavily peated Pedro Jimenez finish of 56.5%. Matured solely in, well, originally matured solely in bourbon casks for a majority of its life. I think it does state how long on the back of here. Seven and a half years in 100% first fill bourbon, a very typical Glen Scotia thing to do, and then finished for the last 12 months of its life in first fill Pedro Jimenez from Maximum Sweetness. Excuse me. I've tried all but one, or reviewed all but one of these bottles. I think the only one I didn't review is the 2020 release, which was the, the Tawny Port. Got a sample of it, didn't think it was amazing. Um, but happily to say I've tried all of these now, which is quite a thing to do. I might review the bottles I've got left over side by side. This style, uh, natural colour, non-chill filtered, cash strength, etc. Um, on paper it's really exciting. Just those words, eight year old, heavily peated, PX. You know, it's it's kind of everything you want from a younger, powerful Campbelltown style whiskey, or indeed a West Coast whiskey. But yeah, let's dive straight into this. Let's smell, let's taste, let's see what's going on. So it's 56.5% ABV. It can come across as a little bit bright on the nose. The interesting thing that's happening with this, this is probably the third time I've tried this. Maybe the fourth, this is the fourth time I've tried this. There is the slightest hint of smoke and peat but it is buried underneath underneath the perfume of all these first fill bourbon casks. Sorry, there's like a hair on my face somewhere. Um, and this PX, all you get on this is salt. It's like having been like diving in the ocean and you're coming back up. That first breath, it's relieving, it's fresh. You still got all the saltiness with it, but there's also a really nice kind of soft treacle toffee, honeycomb, nice indulgent sweetness with it. But yeah, the, the salinity is key on the nose. A little bit of burn from the alcohol, a little bit of sweetness, but if you gave that to me blind, it does not smell like a heavily peated whiskey at all. Yeah, mellow, very nice, taste. There's the peat. As soon as it hits your tongue, you have this very small amount of sweetness lead the way. Behind it is just a rolling horde of smoke and peat. Ashiness, saltiness, a little bit of green apple. It reminds me a lot of Kilhoman. Like um, those sort of cask strength, more intense versions of Kilhoman. It has very much a feel of that to it. Yeah, like the way the smoke arrives is thunderous. It's just like especially from the subtlety of the, the casks hiding the smoke on the nose, because it does come across as this just salty, sweet thing on the nose. Rolling smoke, the salt is back. There's almost a dark chocolate note to it, and it's nice and pleasantly drying around the back of my tongue. Uh, that bottle cost me 55 pounds. Which in the grand scheme of whiskey is quite incredible, given what other brands are charging for cash strength, Pedro Jimenez stuff. Um, I'm not always like truly too bothered about a bottle having an age statement, but the fact it also has an age statement means they're not afraid to show off just how young the whiskey is or what the minimum age of the product is. 
Yeah, that dark chocolatey thing on the finish is quite nice. It's turning quite creamy. And then one of my favorite things in the world is dark chocolate or just chocolate in general with some sort of salty edge to it. The drying is becoming more intense now and it's making my mouth water a little bit. A, a delicious whiskey. Like it's difficult to not score it insanely high because of how affordable it is. Um, the flavors are all there. Uh, last year's bottle, the wine cask, I wanted more wine. I think it was like a year finishing wine and you just got this kind of top red fruit note and that was it. I will have to revisit that bottle because it's been a long time since I've tried it. But with this, I love how um, s like subtle it is. It's just like, oh, smell me. It's like I'm soft and there's a bit of salt. And then when you drink it, it's just... It's a wonderful whiskey. And it's still going to get quite a high score. I'm going to give it like a solid nine. Um, those, these Campbelltown bottles always score very high with me because they're always affordable, they're always very tasty, and they always just do what you want them to do. In this case, it was um, very alluring on the nose and then it hits you with all this like intense peat. But yeah, that's the Glen Scotia Campbelltown bottle. Uh, it's a 9 out of 10 from me. Uh, thank you all for watching, and we'll see you all next week. Cheers.